morning and welcome to every Yapoon State High School student. I can say with confidence that we are now part of a very different world. What has happened over the past few months across the entire world will change everything forever and have impact on our lives. As you may have seen on TV or read in the papers, uh, the COVID-19 impact on our lives has been compared to that of life after World War II back in the 1940s. I see our return to school as about moving forward, not about going back. Things will be very different, whether we want them to be or not. As I said at the very start of this year when I talked to everyone on assembly, we are all respected and valued, that's students and staff, for the decisions and choices we make. All of us over these past few months have had to comply with many government decisions and regulations. And for us in Queensland, because most people have complied with those restrictions and made excellent choices, we've certainly had a very low death rate as a result of the COVID-19. What I hope everyone sees around the school is many, many physical changes whilst you've been away. We've also changed in many other ways. You'll see that there's much work that's happened across the school with our grounds and our facilities. The bottom oval under end block or the old admin uh, has uh, with new terracing for seating. We've got um, underneath end block or the old admin all been refreshed and renewed. And we've got brilliant terracing uh, for seating and it's turfed down on the bottom oval and in uh, where the year 10 sit. I can honestly say that some of our dodgy areas around the school have been tra transformed to just amazing. When you go up the centre of the school, up the Rawling Street entrance, you'll see the new yarning circle, which is amazing. It would be just fantastic if everyone could truly appreciate the work that's gone into turning our place into a school where we love to come every day. In fact, we thrive on coming here every day. As well as the improved physical changes, many of you have experienced e-learning while you've been at home. I have been inundated with parents and students that I've spoken to who have been back um, from home, the 11s and 12s, and they've asked for us to continue this throughout the year. Certainly as a staff, we're looking at what we can do in this space, as it has been very, very well received. Can I say that the social distancing rules are very strict and we ask every single one of you to ensure you practice these. Again, as I said, you are valued for the decisions and choices you make. Please show the respect to your peers, your families and the staff by returning to the school and following these three simple expectations. One, demonstrate your accountability. Arrive on time, be in your uniform, be prepared for learning, be in the right place at the right time and please make sure your absences are explained on the same day that they occur. Secondly, showing respect. We want to keep our grounds looking fantastic. We want our buildings and grounds free from litter, gum and graffiti. And can I please remind you that gum and graffiti are both banned from the school, so as well as aerosols. And finally, keeping safe. We do expect you to use the hygiene practices that teachers are going to be asking you to, to use. Um, that includes wiping desks after each lesson, using hand sanitizers each lesson, and always using soap and water when you go to the toilets. Social distancing will be required in the playground and at the tuck shop. Can I also say that care class, because it's only 10 minutes, most likely will not occur in your, in your regular classroom as there will be no time to wipe desks in that short space of time. Your care class teacher will work out with you where you will meet each day for care class. Finally, welcome back. That's a genuine warm welcome back from myself, the deputies, the HODs and all the staff at our school. And we want you all to do your, your bit to make taking our school taking giant leaps into a very bright future. Thank you.